Now, Americans can expect to pay more this Thanksgiving for just about every aspect of their meal because President Biden and Bidenomics and Biden inflation are well above the Federal Reserve's target and certainly well above our ability to pay for it. Since Joe Biden took office, overall food prices have risen over 17%. Frozen vegetables are up almost 11%. Uncooked beef steaks up almost 11%. Even the sauces and gravies. You don't think about those being a major cost driver of Thanksgiving, but sauces and gravies are up 7.5%. Uncooked turkey up about the same amount, 7.2%. White bread up 7.1%. And there are so many concerning facts about the Biden economy. The Consumer Price Index, a key inflation indicator, rose at an increased annual rate of 3.2% in October. And keep in mind, though the rate of inflation may be slowing, it is stacked. So all the inflation we've already endured has not been remediated or diminished. So when you hear the White House talk about less inflation, what they cannot tell you is that it is resulting in lower prices. Lower prices. That's what the American people want. And the prices are artificially high, not as a function of some uncontrollable global feature, but the direct policy choices that Joe Biden and his government have made. So according to a recent AP poll, about two-thirds of adults say their household expenses have risen over the last year. 73% describe the national economy as poor. If 73% of the people are saying that the national economy is poor, I wouldn't be running on Bidenomics. It's not working for three out of four Americans. A recent study published by Bankrate shows that just 21% of Americans think that their financial situation has improved since Joe Biden became president, around one in five. I feel like most people definitely that observe this program uh, consider themselves part of the four of five who've had their conditions diminished as a consequence of Joe Biden. And frankly, if you listen to Chip Roy, as a consequence of Republicans who have not been fighting hard enough. So what should we be fighting for? You've heard me say it a lot on this program that only single subject spending bills will actually cut spending. These continuing resolutions and omnibus bills, they are the path to more deaths, more deficits, and and higher spending. And we got this admission that my vision on single-subject spending bills will cut spending from no less than one of the progressive leaders of the Democratic Party, Ro Khanna of California. He makes the admission on Joy Reid's MSNBC program. Take a listen. Most speakers last for years. Matt Gates has literally said essentially Mike Johnson has seven months to reduce spending to each bill, everything one at a time, which is madness. It's madness. And it is reducing spending that is going to hurt working families. Even our critics, even the people who have a different vision on governance and budgeting admit that my vision will result in less spending. And we've got to have it because that is what's driving the inflation. And it it harkens back to remember that July 4th tweet that the Biden White House put out previously. Oh, yes, we've got it on the screen there. Yes, a 16 cent decrease in the cost of all of those food stuffs and goods. So 16 cent decrease. Not even true today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel with notifications turned on. You won't want to miss any of the breaking news.